Shortly after the turn of this new century, something happened that had never happened before during the entire course of human history. For the first time ever, more people now live in cities than in rural areas. Worldwide, more than a billion people now live in urban slums. They live outside the surrounding formal economy, somehow scraping by, yet barely surviving. Estimates vary, but perhaps as many as a half a million people live in the massive Kibera slum located in the heart of the capital of Kenya. It's been estimated that the total number of people living in all the slums of Nairobi might be as high as two million. Most of the kids in the Kibera slum depend upon their mothers for survival. Many babies are born in unsanitary mud huts without any medical assistance. It's a rare day when there's enough food for a mother and her children. Hunger is a daily reality. Most children rarely advance beyond a grammar school education. Many uneducated teenage girls face the dreadful choice between an early, unwanted marriage or working in the sex trade. My name is Father Terry Charlton, a Jesuit working in Nairobi, and I was involved in 2004 in the founding of St. Aloysius Gonzaga Secondary School for AIDS orphans, AIDS affected youth. We began here in Kibera in this location. We continue to serve youth from Kibera, but we've moved to a permanent school which is just outside Kibera because we had to get secure land for building the permanent school. We're now here at the location of the new St. Aloysius Gonzaga, our permanent site, thanks to the donations of so many, especially people from the United States. We've been able to build this beautiful school. It presently is accommodating 280 students. That's 35 boys and 35 girls in each of four classes, from freshmen through seniors, as we would say in the United States. And then in addition to that, we have offices and space for our graduate program so that we can take our graduates to their community service and then on for their college and university studies. We're really blessed with a beautiful facility compared to what we have in Kibera, which provides a much better learning environment. Each classroom is about twice the size of the very crowded conditions that we had previously. In addition, we have space for a nice library. We have fully equipped and very modern science laboratories, and we have two computer labs. So we're really able to provide an education that's pretty state-of-the-art, and that really means a lot for our students who come from such poor backgrounds, who are either total orphans or have lost at least one parent due to the AIDS pandemic, and even that surviving parent has been infected. So. It's really an excellent opportunity for our students to move forward with their lives. We really believe we are providing a very well-rounded 
value-laden education that enables our students to grow into being men and women for others. We know that our future will be better than the way it is in Kibera. It's sometimes difficult for us, but when we come to St. Aloysius, we get to learn. I like books, more especially those for science. A lot of chemistry, physics, and biology. I really like them because when I study them, I find that I'm discovering something new in the world. We named our school St. Aloysius Gonzaga for two reasons. Aloysius is one of the Catholic Church's patrons for youth. He himself died at the age of 23 after leading a really exemplary life of reaching out to others. He died as a young Jesuit student serving victims of the plague at that time in Rome. And that really relates to the second reason we've chosen St. Aloysius as our patron. We can think of the new plague today as HIV AIDS. St. Aloysius really serves as an example to all of us and to our students in particular that because someone's young that doesn't mean that he or she can do nothing that really each one of us is invited to reach out with our own resources and our own abilities to do what we can to serve others who are in need. My name is uh, David Dinda, a graduate of uh, St. Aloysius. The school really has been an inspiration to me. I believe now I'm like a role model to the community. I'm here to shape and uh, help other youths in the community also who have not got an opportunity like I did. We want to ensure that the youth are empowered and know what is best for the community. So I'm a man for others shaping and helping the community. <laughs>